who is our final teller for today. So after I heard about the Parkland shooting, um, I immediately felt very disturbed. Um, I had heard about shootings before, but that was the first one that really registered and where I really realized how horrible that shootings were and that these things were happening. Um, and so I've, I've just kind of, I've pondered like that, those thoughts for a while and um, so eventually I kind of decided that I wanted to help do something, raise awareness or help, help people realize the things that were going on. And one day um, in church, uh, a few months ago, I think, um, my pastor mentioned the Parkland shooting. And um, it brought back some of those thoughts that I had felt um, when it happened. And again, I felt as though I wanted to help be part of the solution. And so after church, I, made, I immediately grabbed a pencil and a piece of paper. And at first, I started writing down words that carried meaning to me. And eventually, it led me into writing a poem that um, got my emotions out and how I felt about the situation. And so I'm going to read some of that. Her voice, it echoes. I can hear it. She is singing, chanting. Her words are dancing colors. Life's tunes tangled in an endless enchanting rhythm. But I hear other things too. In the distance, an endless pounding flash. There, then gone, then back again. The gunshot sound, loud and unforgiving ignorant and life-taking. I hear crying, tears drown out the gunshots. The hate and despair flourish, but listen, she is still singing. The gunshots, the crying, they will not drown her out. Her voice resonates in a glorious tune. Her mystical song ignites the soul and gives the spirit rest. She sings of justice and advocacy, and it sounds beautiful. More voices join, and soon I can hear a choir, a chorus of vivid songs together, and it is even more beautiful than before. A few notes escape my lips, and I begin to join the voices. How many of us can sing together, I wonder? There are still shouts of hate in the silence. Fearful wails between our voices, but the hate will flicker away like a blown out candle when we all sing loud enough. 